guys, welcome back to Graveyard Creepers. We're yet on another build today, and uh, what we're going to build is part of, part of my Halloween attraction is going to be torture devices. So we're going to have a torture room in there. It's going to be more or less of a, like a museum. Hopefully we got some actors and stuff in there with it. So what I'm going to make is a, it's called a Judas Cradle. So I'll show you a picture of kind of what we're going to do. And, uh, but that's kind of what we're going to do right there. You can see that. So anyway, that's what we're going to build today. We're going to do a Judas Cradle, and later on I'm going to do a, a Spanish Donkey, which basically, they're basically the same thing, just kind of look a little different. And uh, the next one I want to build, it'll be, it'll look something like a donkey, a horse, whatever you want to call it. But this one here, we're just going to make it simple and uh, show you all how to do it. I've looked online to try to find somebody building these things. Uh, so far, I haven't found it. If, if you know somebody builds a little link in the, in the comments down below or something like that, or hit me up on Facebook. Another thing is, I want to thank everybody for subscribing, all of our new subscribers and all of our existing subscribers. We appreciate that very much. I'm glad you're enjoying some of the videos I'm putting out or all of them, however you want to look at it. And uh, as always, don't forget to go over and look at... Uh, Cobwebs and Candlesticks is our page and the Weird Kid Show. Make sure you go check those guys out, man. They do do incredible builds. Uh, they're very talented guys. They take stuff from nothing and just and, and build it. Um, it's a trio of terror. So uh, go check out those guys and show them some support. Hit like, share, and subscribe. And whenever you subscribe, hit that notification bell and that lets everybody know when we upload a video, and that way you don't miss out. Enough Babylon. Let's get started. Let's let's build this thing. <clears throat> you guys need a back scratcher in the middle of summertime and or wintertime, and your back's itching. Uh, just take an arm off of your skeleton, and there you go. Got a back scratcher. Simple. Paid nothing for it. Just came off my skeleton. All right. So what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to, I'm going to cut some pieces over here, and uh, I'm limited on how I'm moving you guys around on this thing because I'm actually got you sitting on the ladder. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut a four by four. Let's see how tall. Let me see how long this one is. Well, yeah, I had to cut one there. I might have one right here. I got one right there, huh? We'll just use that, okay, buddy? So what we got, we got a four by four, and we'll make a triangle on top of this, and uh, we'll make a stand for it. So uh, we're gonna cut some two by fours and make a stand for this thing.
And what I did, guys, uh, went ahead and cut two pieces of probably about 12 inches long or so. I didn't even measure it, I just guessed it. And that's what we're going to do. It's, it's just for bracing. So let's screw, I put these down here to as a filler. So we'll screw that down and uh, get it going on. Sorry guys, I, I don't have my tripod, so I'm gonna try to show you what I'm doing, but I put a couple of screws in the top, I put some glue on it, and right now, I don't have long enough screws to go through this. Now I can drill out and put this in there, but as soon as I countersink this, it wants to split that wood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this around the edges of it, and uh, glue it, tack it, then put two of them in there, clamp it, then do it that way. So we'll see how that works.
So guys, I got some of, I got some of these carriage bolts. And maybe we'll put we'll put one up here and maybe we'll put stack them down that way. So let's do that. If I find a drill bit for these. There you go, guys. I'm sitting there recording the ground and I'm working at the top. So this is what we got, guys. And uh, these carriage bolts has a little bigger uh, square than it does the circle. Well, you guys know I just tacked this on here, so I don't want to bait and bang on this. So I'll just swallow that out just a little bit. And then you only have to go in a little bit. It might be able to paint the butt. Next one we'll start with the big one. So there we go. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna have to pound it in there anyway. That's okay. I think we can do it. So we'll just put some glue on this. All right, pick it up for me, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, here's what we got, guys. So now, what we need to figure out, do we want to put any down through here? I, I think we should, or something, or take a piece of wood, a long piece of wood about yay long, and just tack it on there. And uh, maybe put one of these in there on each side and uh, just kind of break up that monotony. All right, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going we're gonna to put some of these up here about yay high and uh, we're going to put skulls on them. So we'll tack them, then we'll put some screws in them. As y'all know, I like my skulls.
Okay, guys, there is our uh, Cradle of Judah or Spanish Donkey. Uh, I hope you can get out of it when I can see. It looks real good in person. And uh, that's what it looks like. Put bolts all the way around the top. I gotta keep going back and getting the, the drippage of the glue so it doesn't, you can see it going down through there. But uh, that's no biggie. Let's keep cleaning that up as, as we go till it dries. So there you go, guys. There's our uh, Cradle of Judah. Spanish donkey, however you want to call it. Uh, we're going to make a different one later on that kind of looks like a, a donkey. Uh, it's going to be out of scraps and doodads and do-nots. But I wanted to make this one here, and we made it ornate. Now, you guys don't have to make yours ornate. You can just make a plain one. I, I wanted something a little different. And the, the, the thing about this stuff, guys, is, is I sit through the day, and I try to think, what am I going to make tomorrow? And the time I get out of the garage, what I was going to make I make something else so j just get up and go do it and it doesn't matter what you make just just make it and uh as you go you keep visualizing stuff in your mind what you can add to it and what you're not and uh these parts here is the parts that i cut off of uh these uh four fours up here and i just saved them and uh put and put skulls on them because i wanted this one to be a little bit more elaborate than just a plain jane and I, I, think it, I think it turned out pretty good. Put a, some a trim around it. And uh, I, think, I think it turned out pretty good. Now I would have liked to have this a little bit more pointed, but you know, for what it is, I, I'll keep it as what it is. It, it's, it's fine. I'll, I'll make a different one later on and stuff like that. I'll, I'll probably make three or four of these or more. Uh, but there you go, guys. It's a very simple build. Uh, Cradle of Judah, Spanish donkey, and what they did back in the medieval torture times is they would stick a man or woman on top of this and one of your orifices and uh, put your legs down to the side and put weights on your legs, concrete, rocks, or whatever, or whatever they had back then. And this would eventually, you know, open you up and uh, would be very, very painful. It's a painful way to, a very painful way to die. And uh, so... We've got a bunch of these, that, a bunch of medieval torture devices that we're going to build. Some big, some small, some real big. I can't wait to get on the, my other one. I'm going to keep that in the secret until I put it out. Uh, it's, it's a very beautiful piece as well. And uh, I can't wait to actually get into doing it. But uh, I got a bunch of medieval stuff I want to build. So nothing is off the table on that. So there you go, guys. That is the medieval, one of my medieval torture devices. Uh, also, give a shout out to my brothers and with the uh, Trio Terror, uh, Keith at Cobwebs and Candlesticks. Uh, he's building a, a grave digger. Go over and check out his channel. Also, go check out the Weird Kid. Uh, he's he's building a uh, plague doctor. So uh, I'm very happy with this, and we're gonna call this sucker done. And as always, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Just build it. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you got any comments or anything, put them in the comments, and I'll answer I answer uh, all my comments. Uh, and if you are a subscriber, want to subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can keep up to date on all of my stuff that I build. And like I said, I got some other stuff that's coming up. I got some big stuff, some more uh, mid-sized stuff, uh, especially in the torture device uh, department. I think you guys will enjoy. I cannot find this stuff on YouTube or online that people's building. Now, the guillotine, I'm finding that all over the place, but the other stuff, I'm not finding it so much. So I might be the first one popping that up or if I'm just looking it up wrong, I don't know. 
But there you go, guys. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next build. Bye. Bye.